Ever since the dawn of civilization, piracy has always been a massive problem, whether it be someone stealing an object from someone else physically or someone taking an idea and not giving credit to the original person. Piracy has always had a tough time being extinguished from civilization, and especially now in the 21st century, it is no exception especially with people gaining new tools and technologies from for stealing people's creations. Piracy has run rampant, especially in the mobile world where it is a very new industry. Today, I'm going to be talking about two things. First, how piracy rates have affected mobile game developers and publishers and how they needed to change and adapt to uh, a new style of, uh, of industry and how these piracy rates became so high in the first place. First of all, I want to explain what a piracy rate is. Essentially, a piracy rate is the amount of people who bought the game versus how many people stole the game or downloaded it illegally. So if I uh, develop a game and I sell 100 copies, if I have a 90% piracy rate, that means 90 people did not pay for the game and only 10 people paid for the game. So I'm going to go over a few examples first of how um, or an example of uh, piracy rates and how they affected mobile game developers. And then after that, I'm going to explain how these piracy rates became so massive in the first place. Before I get into all these specific examples, I would just like to mention that all the articles and links will be in the description down below if you want to read up more on uh, this issue. So this first article comes from The Verge, a very well-known news source, and this was back in 2012, um, and it is titled Making Mobile Games with a 60% Piracy Rate. Now, some of you guys will actually recognize this developer. Um, it is Madfinger Games when they were developing Dead Trigger um, the first one. So in this article they explain um, basically how um, they had to transition from a premium title to a freemium title um, because there was a 60% piracy rate on Android which means uh, for every 10 people who played the game only four people actually bought the game. So this was around when piracy was becoming very popular amongst mobile gamers and the transition from premium to freemium started um, to gain popularity. Um, and Madfinger Games is a relatively large in uh, indie company and they were even forced to change the game's price from 99 cents to a freemium price. Even six years ago when mobile gaming wasn't really popular, piracy was still at a 60% rate and developers had to make changes. Fast forward two years and now the government even has to step in and try and ease the piracy rates and stuff. So in 2014, the United States Department of Justice released sort of an article or report. Um, it isn't very specific, but basically a group who illegally distributed Android games and applications pleaded guilty in court. They distributed more than 700 thousand dollars worth of android games and apps and even the government now is realizing that they have to get involved because of how pirating has become in mobile gaming and this is just two years after madfinger games had to convert to a freemium model uh, for dead trigger so last but not least this is a tweet from uh, us two games the makers of monument valley and monument valley 2 arguably one of the most successful premium franchises on mobile and these figures um, in the form of a tweet uh, really tell a story when it comes to how bad piracy really has gotten uh, in terms of how developers see it and so this tweet directly says that five percent of installs on android are paid for five percent that means 95 percent of installs are either pirated or small amounts uh, of free downloads from the developers themselves because they did admit that they did give away some copies but that still doesn't you know sound quite right when 95 percent of the total install base aren't even paid for. So they also mentioned that iOS isn't necessarily immune to this. 40% of iOS installs are paid, are paid for and 60% are pirated or just not paid. Uh, iOS clearly has piracy rates guys and it absolutely has a massive impact on developers and publishers on Apple's platforms as well, not just Android. Now let's get on to the second half of this video. How does all of this happen? Well, let's talk about the 95% piracy rate on Monument Valley on Android. Android pirating is not a new concept and really everyone knows how to pirate apps and games on Android these days. It's very simple. All you have to do is search up the APK uh, of an app or a game and download it. Unfortunately, it's really that simple. There's nothing you have to do otherwise. And again, anyone who has access to an internet connection can perform piracy like this. So isn't piracy hard on iOS though? 
how could piracy rates reach 60% on Monument Valley if Apple software is so secure and locked down? Don't you need a jailbreak to get free apps? No, you don't need a jailbreak. While it's certainly a bit more complicated to pirate apps on iOS, it is still incredibly simple and anyone with basic knowledge of iOS can do it. All you have to do is download an app on Safari and that app will act as a free app store of some sorts. So this picture I'm showing you right now is the logo of an application called Tutu. Now, basically all you have to do is go to Safari, type in their URL and download their app. Once you have downloaded their app, you can go to settings, general um, profiles and device management, trust their certificate. And basically now you have a free app store on your iPhone or iPad. And that's really all it acts. There's no, there's no hurdles you have to go over besides that. Now, a lot of people use this app, um, not just for pirating, but to get uh, applications that have been deleted off the app store. For example, this is how I got Photoshop Touch. It's not on the app store and I had to download it this way. I don't consider that pirate pirating, but other people might. And um, that is the only like limits that I'm willing to go to. I, I will not pirate an app like this. This is completely shameful in my opinion. And people just don't understand. Um, so this is part of the explanation um, is just how simple it is to get free applications and games. The other part are the people that do pirating. Now, the mobile gaming community is a very young community. Um, it's, it's just a fact. Um, the average uh, age of people who play games like Bullet Force and, and you know other games on mobile are just, they're very young. And they're susceptible to not understanding the consequences of pirating apps and games. And because it's so simple, they don't think twice about it. Um, and that is a really, really massive uh, issue is just the people who are doing these things they don't know any better um, which is a very unfortunate problem and that is one problem that frankly I don't have a solution for I don't even have an, you know an idea of how to stop that um, just the simple fact that people don't know what they're doing um, if they have an opportunity to get something for free and nothing you know immediately says that oh this is illegal or this is not right uh, you know, they have no reason to not do this. Um, and that is a massive, massive issue. And I blame that for, you know, one of the single biggest reasons why piracy has gotten so large and has really uh, affected mobile gaming in such a massive, massively negative way. I mean, think about it. Um, all these premium apps and games had to be shut down or converted to freemium. And even big, big companies like Gameloft, as we see now, has to convert to a freemium model um, just because these piracy rates are so large. Now, that doesn't mean piracy is a, you know, uh, or is the leading cause of this. It certainly is a massive percent um, or a massive cause of uh, the fact that we had to go to premium or freemium apps, sorry. But um, obviously people don't want to pay $6 for one app. They'd rather pay 99 cents in in-app purchases down the line. Um, and that is a separate issue, or not necessarily an issue, but a separate um, reason for going to freemium. But piracy is a massive thing. And even if apps are free, people still get them off these app stores or they search up the APK, which is absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and um, let me know uh, in the comments below what your position on piracy is. And uh, I will catch you all in the next video. See ya.